In the Collaborate tab on the Synchronize panel is the Restore Backup tool. Now what this does is it allows you to roll back any changes that you've made on your local file or your central file. When you do this though, it gives you the warning that you will lose all of the information on who has ownership of the different work sets or the different elements. And so you want to keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and click on it and show you some of the features. Automatically it takes me to my backup folder for my local file. If I want to, I can actually browse and choose the backup folder for my central file or any other file for that matter. But by default it's going to go to the backup folder for the project that you're currently in. So go ahead and click open. And now all of that data that's in that file gets read by Revit. And this is the only place that you can actually use your backup files in that folder. And so here you can see the different version number who saved it and in this case it's just me because it is my local file the time that I saved it and if I had input any comments now one of the options you have which is really cool instead of selecting a file and obviously it can't be the current one and hitting rollback you can save a copy of that file out which is a really nice feature if you're just trying to find the correct point that you would like to roll your file back to. Also it's a good way of archiving your file and so if I were to click on save as it would save a copy and then ask me if I wanted to open it. If I roll back my local file then I will lose all of my previous changes to my local file and one of the things that I find happens is that people will roll back their local file and then they will reload latest from the central file and then have their changes come back and that is something that you know you have to be aware of is maybe you need to actually roll back your central file first and then you have the option of rolling back your local file as well or in some instances go ahead and just recreate a new local file